Hey guys, we are over here. Uh, in today's video, we take one last look at a dark deception storyline. I see how Chapter 3 of Dark Deception relates to real life. What metaphor Chapter 3 has what we will be, will be exploring in today's video. Sit down, grab your favorite snack, and relax while we explore the hidden meaning behind Dark Deception for the last time until Chapter 5, Parts 1 and 2 release. Kenya Stewart is a suit like me, his favorite dread ducky that are alive. There were only some of the ducks that are alive. The ones that are alive pop up when we get near them. The ducks represent those who are toxic, toxic and are liars. This facts are about the inner we find in the level. Even in that the ducky, the ones that are alive, contain the sort of liars and, the, and they try to blend in. But this even gives a hint at zones 1 and 2. Well, they're trying to blend in, eh? Let's see how well you pay attention to details. The hiding. These are most likely people who are lying to impress others, as E said. These dreadful doggies are trying to try to blend in and hide behind their false appearance. This shows the type of lies these doggies contain. In real life, people mostly lie out of fear, but some lie about who they truly are. Maybe you want to impress somebody. Your crush could be an example. You may want to show him or her that you are interested and you are glad thing that she is at. But she will quickly find out that you are lying, and when she does, you have your most likely lost your chance. The simple thing to do is to be yourself. Look, I'm not. I don't want to give any relationship advice, but one thing I could say is just be yourself, not only towards someone you like, but to everybody. These dead duckies in the level lie all the time in their past life and act like they know everything. Another thing is that most of us lie our fear or embarrassment. Honestly, I used to do this, but I quickly learned to stop doing this and just not be fearful of telling the truth. You should too. Let's say your parents ask what you get on your test or your poll card. If you fail or they body in the class, just tell them. You know your parents so you can expect what they will do to you. Respect your parents and just ask them if they can help you give you any advice at least. Not only to your parents but to everybody. Don't fear telling the truth. Whatever people say about you, just learn to not care. Whatever happens in, we in life happens for a reason. And it's your choice whether you let people make you sad or you learn to not care. Be happy all the time. It's your choice where you will go in life, so choose a path that you will be happy with. The last metaphor we find is in the second room at a solid level. To get to it, you just do and climb the ladder, you would then reach a, a secret room with notes containing Doug's backstory. This is Doug saying these words. Both Doug's wife and daughter have mental disabilities. They were sucking the joy out of his life, out of his life, and he wanted to be free of them. He ended up doing something tragic. We see this in the mask of Mania during Doug's backstory. Next note, it talks about Tommy House, so Doug's daughter, and her mental disabilities. It says that Tommy has signs of depression and anxiety. When asked about her father, Tommy feels like he is ignoring her. I believe that he, I believe that he wishes she did exist. In real life, we may know somebody for many reasons. But if you know somebody, they are important to us, and you are most likely doing something else that feels more important. If you keep knowing that person, you will regret it later and in the future. One thing you can get back in life is time. You spend your time having a conversation with people because before you know it, they will be gone, and all you're going to have is the memories you have with them. Doug regrets his decision and shown it on this note. He also showed this in the crazy carnival level in Zone 2. He has seen his wife and daughter as if they were still alive. As I said before, Doug regrets his decisions. You shouldn't ignore people because we don't know when our last moment with them will be. Anyways, that was a hidden meme behind, behind Stranger Sewers. Let's now take a trip to a crazy carnival circus, circus and find the hidden meme behind these crazy clowns. Those were pretty popular in my day. Crazy Carnival is a circus like me filled with these crazy little clowns that are chasing you down. These clowns put on a show that everyone enjoys. They come up they come in groups and chase after you laughing and acting like chores. That is what they were in the in their past life. According to the e -note, these clowns spent their past life antagonizing, antagonizing and provoking other with other with a twisted prize. They caused misery to others for their own amusement. Now we know why they chase us and laugh about it. They attack us for their own amusement, bullying people is what they used to do. And now they are trapped in this world as the same clowns they were in their past life. In real life, some people are like this. They troll and bully people for their own amusement. Haters also fall into that category. I recently talked about why people bully in my previous episode. People are usually bully to feel important and even popular. When they put on a show that everybody enjoys, they feel powerful. That's why they're in the game when you hit the button, everyone boos that dog. When the clowns who were trolled and bullied in the past started trapping and started trolling here, everyone claps and enjoying the show that they purposely put on. There's a lot of effects bullying can have on people. You may think bullying just want to bother you and stuff, but they are having problems. 
A person doesn't become a bully just like that. It most likely has to do with the type of problem they are facing. It's mostly at home. Bullies have their feelings hurt and now they just want to pass it on to somebody weaker and less powerful than them. Honor Shinko. The bully is only going to make them angry though. So my suggestion is to just ignore whatever they say about you. People may make fun of you for different things. But just be yourself and because you will be happy once you don't care what people think about you. Anyway, that's it for the metaphor series on Dark Deception. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I will put Dark Deception chapter 2 metaphor video on SQ right now. I will link the metaphor playlist in the description down below. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more metaphor and gameplay videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day and peace.